These white women, they saw the vision. Yep. They like, look, I, I see where this is going. I studied this. Kevin Samuels already exposed how yep. they have courses and shit. Yes. They're reading books and shit on how to get these type of men. They actually work to get these men. They know this is a competition. Yep. So what would you consider competition that, let's say, five women has to go against to compete with, to get to get your attention? <laughs> it ain't much. It's like I'm only kidding. <laughs> No, so but you got no, low truthfully. standards, is what you're saying? Yeah, that's that's yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Truthfully, truthfully, the competition. I mean, it, dating it, it it is a competition because you you're competing with the other person for that person's attention. Let's go to video number four. Four. <laughs> you know, it oh. seems unusual that I'm reading from here <laughs> instead of reading from here. But anyway, anywho, anywho, yeah. He said dating is a competition. If you don't compete, you lose. Credit goes to the viral, what's it? The viral Way. podcast. I mean, dating is a competition, mm. man. So it's, it could be a physical sport if you know how to act right. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so meaning we gotta fight over y'all niggas? Is mm -hmm. that what you're saying? Come yeah. with this jab. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Drizzle drizzle. <laughs> it's this drum podcast. Oh, Let's go. These white women, they saw the vision. Yep. They like, look, I, I see where this is going. I studied this. Kevin Samuels already exposed how yep. they have courses and shit. Yeah. They're reading books and shit on how to get these type of men. They actually work to get these men. They know this is a competition. Yep. I'm going to outcompete the competition and get chose. And this is why they're getting chose. When you talk to black women. They are repulsed at the word competition. Yeah. I tell black women they all the table. fucking time, you got to compete for the man you want. Compete on. Oh, he can have that bitch. Well, guess what? That draft so, day, he's having the bitch. Yes. Mm -hmm. I just feel like that's just being thirsty. Nah. Nah. Go ahead, see that. <laughs> so, we, yeah, yeah. so, I'm going I'm to I'm, I'm make an example. All right. I'm just regular old CJ, right? If I want to date... I won't even go as high as Rihanna. If I want to date somebody like, um, who can I use? That's like up there. But okay, say if I wanted to date uh, an attorney, right? This woman probably makes a, a a nice salary, lives a certain type of lifestyle. I know that definitely the, six figures. The men that she's going to attract are going to be of a certain status, so I automatically have to compete. To get her attention, because she's seeing a certain type of a man, mm -hmm. or in her just in her or in her orbit, I have to bring myself up to a certain standard to even be seen by her. So if she's an attorney and she know you know she she lives a certain type of lifestyle, she goes these certain type of places. So again, that we'll use the W Hotel, uh, uh like a espresso martini at the W Hotel is thirty four dollars. The average mm -hmm. person ain't spending thirty four dollars on a drink, but if she's in that environment. I have to put myself in there and I can't fake it because if I ain't got no money, I can only buy her one drink. So I have to, I have to, that's, that's where the competition comes in. I have to get my life right. I got to get my finances right. I got to get all my stuff together so that she'll be able to at least just see me so that I can mm. compete with the other men. And it's not a, comp a competition of me against him. It's me against uh, being able to be seen by her. That's where the competition is because if I'm little Jojo the rapper, She's not even looking at me. So that's where the competition comes in. And I think a lot of people mm. get kind of misconstrued on that. They're like, oh, I'm not competing with another woman. It's not competing with the other woman. But if you know that this man, he works in a, he works in a commercial real estate and the women that are in that building are making money and they go certain places and they have certain type of friends and they do certain things. <clears throat> he's in that environment. If you mm. hanging out at a night on Broadway, he, you never going to meet him. So it's like you have to. All right, to so I got a question for Lowe's. Me. All right, so Lowe's. All right, so as we already know, the, the ratio of men to, of women to men is very, very slim. So, okay, it's a whole lot of us, what? Eight seven, women, seven, seven eight. eight women mm. to one man. So what would you consider competition that, let's say, five women has to go against to compete with, to get, to get your attention? <laughs> it ain't much. It's like I'm only kidding. <laughs> No, so but you got no, low truthfully. standards, is what you're saying. Yeah, that's yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, no. Truthfully, truthfully, the competition. I mean, it, dating it, it it is a competition because you you're competing 
with the other person for that person's attention. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's, it has always been a competition. You know what I mean? That, that's where the wooing comes. Okay, so is it a competition wooed. even if, let's just say y'all cool or and y'all didn't establish? Or it's like, so, okay, so if there's nothing established that y'all are trying to be exclusive, why should a woman have to feel like she's competing when basically that's not even in her mindset? Basically, you already gave her the idea like no i ain't really trying to do nothing so basically she's she's she done fell off see then that's what she got to know the signs or she, she got she got she got to know that i'm interested in him he's interested in me and so i'm competing with those other females that has a little bit of his attention or a lot or a lot even of after his he attention. already said well look i ain't trying to be I mean, serious oh, then you have already been x out of the race or so she, just give it up or what she has to do is she has to quietly shoot her shot. So, like, if if you around somebody and you know what they like, what they don't like, or whatever, like, I'm gonna say this it might sound a little weird, but make yourself valuable. Like, if you know yeah, for, for a sure. fact, you got like to. show, like, put your resume out there. You don't have to say, hey, listen, I would I would like to date you. You we no <laughs> no no, but just put yourself out there and show. Because again, as men, we catch stuff. Um, some men might act like they don't, but we catch it. All right. I might have said that I don't want to do this, but if you are putting forth the effort, and again, there's a thin line between putting forth effort and being a dummy. Like, don't be a dummy. If you yeah. put it out there for a while and he don't catch it, then don't keep doing that. Like, yeah, you're going, alone. yeah, going about your yeah. business. In the beginning, yeah, put yourself out there. Like, listen, I want to be a candidate because but, men will yeah. pick it up. It's just but that women, whole, <laughs> what women don't do is they don't put themselves out there. So a man will just say well, that because he might they be don't think it's, it's a, a competition. You know, be, yeah, because I guess more so the rejection. And then, you know, once again, you know, a woman doesn't necessarily want to be like one of your candidates, you know, because. No, but, but but what what he was saying, what the guy in the video was saying is that it's our black women who don't feel so that they shouldn't compete for a man. Because they have, but what you've been doing in our generation, everybody competed. Yeah. In every it, generation. Yeah. You, yeah. Might, every, you, you compete. And you, you and, like, oh, and, and most women don't even know that they're competing. Yeah, you're like, oh, I like might, that boy. I'm, I'm going to tell you this, though. The, the truth is, you, you got to be honest. Facts. You right, have to be, right. you got to be truthful you, to the point <laughs> where you, it's just like peeling back a scab. Like, yo, listen here, baby girl. I'm on you. I'm interested in you. Where's it going to go from here? Cause but a lot of guys don't do that I, because they still got that I, like oh I don't want to close she might they don't she do might, that she and might the sad part about it this, is that they don't she might leave you, me alone they don't tell you that they interested until after the fact after you done moved the hell on then it's like well damn why didn't you say something maybe I would have stuck around and you know probably tried to you know work something out I think I, so I, I do agree with that I just think one instance wh why that. men don't do that. It's because I feel like some men tell women that, and then the moment they tell her, yeah, I'm feeling you, then it's boom. Oh, we in a relationship. Like, whoa, wait a minute, what? <laughs> well, look, I, I, ju I just was saying <laughs> that I'm feeling you. Uh, I, why are you asking me for a key? We, I oh just my said God. 10 minutes ago. <laughs> he said a key. So it's like <laughs> some men feel like it's, it's yeah. a little bit too much because then here comes the real, all right, well, when we when, when we going to be boyfriend or girlfriend? When we moving in? When we get married? It's like, slow down. I just said I'm feeling you. Like, yeah. calm down. So I think that's why some men don't do that. But I agree. That at that moment, yeah, you should tell the woman. I think that most men should just say, if you're dating other women, to just figure out which one is the one for you. Just tell the woman, hey, you know, I, I'm dating. I'm dating. You don't have to tell right. her how many. Right. Just tell her I'm I'm dating right now. I'm just dating, and I'm trying to figure yeah. out what. Yeah, I because do. my thing is, it's like, and I know a lot of times, and you know, uh, guys, y'all, know, I know y'all have this problem. Oh, a lot. These women, they say that they can accept or take honesty, but then a lot of times they don't. So I'm the type of woman, I don't mind the honesty. Just tell me so I can choose like on, you know, on what's going on with my life and your life and we can just do whatever. But a lot of women, you tell them, oh, yeah, I'm dating. And then the next thing you know, they they, they just like flipping. Oh, you you dealing with this. Bitch. So, <laughs> you know, like cuckoo, bro. Yeah, right. yeah. Well, let's go to the comment. All right. So first comment, I'm not competing for a goddamn thing. OK. <laughs> and that was from a woman. And see, that's what I was talking about. Some of the, some of the women they feels up that they shouldn't have to compete for a man. Go to that. So maybe SPCA, just take the word competition out. That just makes it seem like it's like a game. My well, life is word not, would you, my life would you is not a game. It? Like but why what? do why do you have to use like the word competition like it's a game? My lives are not games. Well, what else would you put there? 
because you're you're like like Lo said, you're competing for somebody's attention. So as a man, I know for a fact if I if I go court a woman, especially if she's beautiful, I know there's other guys trying to get her attention. So what do I have to do? I have to compete with them to get the attention away from them to me. Well, how do I do that? Yeah. Being attentive to her, you know, calling her. Yeah, uh, but the, uh, the minute you start yeah, you know, getting that attention, the you, you, you better you <laughs> better you better make sure you use that time wisely. <laughs> Yeah, you be like, you be like, hey, well, I haven't heard from Joe in a minute. Uh, yeah, you won't hear from him in a while. <laughs> Who else you dating? <laughs> Joe went to the upper room. Yeah. <laughs> All right, look, comment number two. Yup, had a convo with my mother earlier on women only see what we are now and what we can become. So, potential. But potential. also at the same time, it's like, okay, I don't want to get it stuck on a man's potential. I want to see you for who you are right now. Because, yes, I can see your potential, but do you see it? Well, I, I mm. think that in our communities, we see it different than, you know, the uh, European community. I think that they've been building forever and they have all the resources and all these things. So their struggle looks different from our struggle yeah, I, is I really coming that. from the muscle like you don't have anything so it's hard to see until just, you get there yeah it's just different yeah it's not and it's not it's not really anybody's fault black men or black women it's just more socioeconomic things that cause those 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 like rifts comment so i had a woman tell me she didn't she don't compete but wanted me to outdo another man she was seeing so i let him have her and she chose wrong exactly see what i'm saying that's just like yeah, the last so girl like, so that does, that just doesn't make sense so you're not going to compete but you want him to compete uh, so make up your mind who does that she sound sounds like? confused like, oh who was just confused in the last video that was a woman right <laughs> no disrespect but um disrespect really <laughs> <laughs> listen no disrespect but i'm gonna hit you with the disrespect <laughs> listen drop a like drop a comment y'all tell us what comment. you think and subscribe this podcast man